We are recording. Okay. And I'll cop that part out too. Okay, everyone places. And just the same button to turn it off, right? Yes, ma'am. Okay. Okay. Lights standing by. Lights go. 50,000, 51, 65, 90. Come, come, life, forget your losses. I was hoping for a good game tonight. Though, there is a little informing except for a couple of suicides. My dear Death, I wish you would grant me a favor. A favor? A favor? Now, isn't that just like a woman? I always said. Okay, stop. We're going to go back from the beginning. Do you want to look at the script really fast? No, I, I got it. Okay. Just... You're going to have to crop a little bit more, Miranda. Okay. okay. You want... I typically have five hours on that camera, so... Okay, we got... We got... We got time. <laughs> okay. Lights... Get, get, get ready. Lights, go. 50,000, 51, 65, 90. Come, come, life, forget your losses. It's no fun playing with dull playing partner. I was hoping for a good game tonight, though there is an end for me except for a couple of suicides. My dear Seth, I wish you would grant me a favor. A favor? A favor? Now, isn't that just like a woman? I have yet to meet one who is willing to abide by the fair rules of the game. But I really want these two, whether I win or lose, I really must have them. They're geniuses. You know how badly I'm in need of geniuses right now? Ungrateful, spoiled children always wanting to commit suicide over their first disappointments. How many times must I tell you, the game must be played. You know as well as I do, it is the law. Oh, the law. Laws are always in your favor, Death. There you are. I always said the universe would be in a wild state of disorder if the women had any say. No, you must play. Whoever said anything about not playing, all I want is your consent to have them meet here before the game begins. I'll bet this isn't as innocent as it seems. Who are they? I haven't paid much attention to this case. Youth and the girl. He is a poet and she's a dancer. <laughs> a strong man and a beautiful woman. Oh. Up to your tricks again, eh, you sly thing. You're hoping that they'll fall in love and cheat me. See, I do give consent. What will you give? I'll give you Kaiser Wilhelm, the Tsar of Russia, George of England, and old Francis Joseph. That's two to one. That's dishonest. You're always trying to lose these monarchs on me when you know I don't want them. Why, when you do play for kings, you almost go to sleep, and I always win. No bargaining in kings, my dear. I'll give you a whole regiment of soldiers. Soldiers? What do you care about soldiers? Look at your figures again. You've been losing millions for the past two years in Europe. Yet, you're much more excited with these two rattle-pated young idiots. You love too much. And with such covetous, you will never know the thrill of the chance. Please, I'll give you anything. Ooh, too late. One's already here. You. You tricked me! You were only playing for time! Oh, big game, sister! Everything is fair in all the dice. And just think, if this half is one, and the other half is one, they'll meet them. Who are you? I am life. Life? Oh, I am through with you! I want none of you! And who are you? I am death. Death? How different from my dream of you. In it, you are somber and austere. And instead, if I may say so, you're just a trifle commonplace. Well, I'm not as young as I once was, in one's figure. <laughs> ah. Pleasing exterior, eh? Yet, if you don't know any better, you would not be seeking me. Alas, my young boy, beauty is not even skin deep. Ah, uh, that is true. Oh, Death, I've been seeking you for weeks. Yet, I'm always present. Where are you seeking? Well, I, I, I tried poison, but just as I was about to swallow it, they snatched it away from me. I, I tried to shoot myself, but they cheated me. The gun wouldn't go off. Well-meaning idiots. So I came here to leap into the sea. Very good, very good. However, hurry though, someone might come. Why do you wish to die? As if you didn't know. Did you not give me the power to string words into beautiful songs? Did you not give me the power to sing to and take love away? 
I cannot sing anymore, and yet you ask me why I want to die? I am not a slave. Slaves live just to eat and be clothed. You have plenty of them. Yes, I have plenty of them. If I cannot have love to warm me, I cannot create beauty. If I cannot create beauty, I cannot live. Are you sure that it was love that I gave you? I think it was only desire. You did not seem ready for love. Falsehoods, evasions. What is love then? You gave me a girl who sold flowers on the street. She had hair like gold and a body all rose white and like marble. I sang my songs for her, and the whole world listened. An ugly beast came and offered her gold. She laughed at me. She went away. That is love, my young boy. You're lucky to find out so young. Now I know it was desire. Why will she persist in lying? I am a gentleman in the sport, I must admit. She is as truthful as I am. Listen, youth, and answer me. Did your sweetheart understand your songs? Why should she? Women do not have to understand. They must be fragrant and beautiful, like flowers. And is that all? Uh, well, uh, I do not know many women. I will show you one who understands your songs. She's coming here. To throw herself into the sea like you. Because she is lonely waiting for you. For me, but I do not know her. It's you, through your songs. And yet, you've been seeking me for weeks. Are you to be tricked, are you to be fooled again by this tricky charlatan? You who are through with life? There is no room for the cowardly amongst the lofty dead. Oh, death, forgive me. Life, farewell. Hold! Oh, we must play the game. So now it is you who's asking me to play. Come, sister dear, do me this favor, give me this one. No, the game must be played. It is the law. You know the game. Best you out of three? because you stomped on his flowers. That is all the love that there is. Love? No, that was desire. <laughs> desire when they seek you and love when you seek them? No, no, love understands. They didn't. They only wanted to fight me in order to destroy me. That is why I stamped on their flowers. Ah, oh, the young, incurably sentimental. Good. I am glad you did. Why, who are you? I am you. You, the poet. You? Oh, I know all of your songs by heart. I have kissed every line. Every time when I dance, I try to dance them. But why are you here? You came to throw himself into the sea. Oh no, you must not. What would the poor world do without your beautiful songs? Don't be afraid, my dear. I have one. Alas. Why do you want to die? His sweetheart left him. His sweetheart? So he loved somebody. I don't believe you. How could any woman he loved when he sings so sweetly? His songs meant nothing to her. Nothing? Oh, then she was not worth your love. She was like those men who wait for me at the stage door. She only wanted to destroy you. Such is life, my dear young lady. Love is the destroyer always. You're right. It is all a myth. Life, love, happiness. I must idealize someone, something. Then the bubble bursts and I am alone. No. If she could not understand, no one could understand. Oh, how wrong you are. I understand. Don't you believe me? I have danced all that you have sung. Do you remember the bird calls? <laughs> how 
how beautiful. You do understand, you do. Wings flash and soar when you dance. You skim the sea gloriously, lifting your quivering feathery breast against the sunny wind. Dance again for me, dance my cloud flight. Oh, the loveliest of all. But I can no longer dance for you again. I came here to die. And yet you have forgotten it already. Oh, all you suicides are alike. Life's little deceit fools you again. You who are who seen through life, you have seen her for what she really is. But I have found youth. Yes, and I have found love. Real love at last. Love that burns like fire and flowers like the trees. You shall not die. And I will fight you for her. Love is stronger than death. Than life, you mean? Think of all the great lovers of the world. Paola and Francesca, Romeo and Juliet, Tristan and Isolde. I, I claim them all. Who are you to set yourself against such august precedences? And you, you think he loves you? No, it is not you who he loves, but your dancing of his songs. He is a poet and only loves himself, and his sweetheart for lack of whom he was going to die? He has forgotten her already, just as you will one day be forgotten. Why ask too much of me? I can only give happiness for a moment. But it is real happiness, love, and creation, unity with the tremendous rhythm of the universe. I cannot promise it will endure. I will not say you will not be forgotten. What if it is himself that he loves in you? That too is love. To be supremely happy for a moment, for an hour, that is worth living for! Life can offer you many things. I but one. She pours up the sunshine before you to make you glad. She sends the winter to chill your heart. She gives you love and desire and then takes it away. She gives you a warm quietness and then kills it with hunger and anxiety. Life can offer you many things, I but one. Come closer, tired heart, hold out your weary hands. See what I offer to both kings and beggars alike. Come, I can give you peace. Peace? Do you think I want peace? I, a dancer, a child of the whirling winds. Do you think I would be blind to the sun like death to you its music, to my sweet applause and dumb to laughter? All this joy that is inside of me, scattered in darkness and dust in my hair and in my eyes and my dancing feet. And yet, and yet life is so cruel. My dearest, we will never leave one another. She is mine. Have you forgotten already the game? It is half one. She too has found love. Ah. But in willing to put her life at the knees of the fates, we must now play for her. Oh, I'm not afraid to play. This time I have you, Dad. <laughs> have me? Nay, life. I am cleverer than you. On this game lies the doom of both. Of both? You lie, Death. Youth cannot die. <laughs> Youth cannot die, you say? True. But if I win, the girl dies. Is this not true? And what then? Youth will forever mute, forever regretting his decisions, and then you will beg me to take him. Death, please, I beg of you. Oh, oh, oh. Life on her knees to death. Oh, no, sister, I could not help you if I would. We must play the game. It is the law. It is the law. Until then, death, you are powerless. Geniuses. Geniuses. How strange. 
strong, how brave, how beautiful, my lover. <laughs> oh, dear. It was a fun game, I suppose. Though, that is the difference between you and I, Eli. You play the win, and I play for the fun of it. However, I must ask, why do you care so much about dreamers and so little for soldiers? Oh, soldiers don't matter to me, one way or the other. But one day the dreamers will chain you to the earth and I will have the game all my way. <laughs> that is yet to be seen. Well, what about kings? Kings are my enemies. Do you remember how careless I was during the French Revolution? I've always had that on my conscience. And I think I'd feel better if I told you, every time I threw a good combination, I juggled the dice. <laughs> I'm not surprised. Goodness, you women are unscrupulous, and they see I'm unfair. I'll have to keep an eye on you. I warn you, I will stop at nothing. <laughs> By the way, what's the game tomorrow night? Uh, I'll play. And I regret to inform you, you have a chance in the world. But don't forget, I have science to help me. <laughs> science, a fool's tool. I sweep them up all in my net. The men of learning and the ones they try to cure. But remember that the sun, the blessed healing sun, still <clears throat> rises every morning. Hey! Don't remind me of the sun. Soldiers. They are the flower of youth, and there are dreamers among them. Blackout. <laughs>